Hello everyone, this is Kathleen and I'm here to show you another journal that I have completed. This is um, this is a guest design for the paper cameo. Nicola contacted me and asked if I would review this summer picnic journal printable for her make a project and um, yeah, I was happy to do that because I needed a number of journals. And so I was thrilled um, to receive this. And when I took a look at it um, initially, I just fell in love with these, these two papers particularly. They were very inspiring to me. And um, because you know I love masterboards. And so these collage pages were just very striking. And it reminded me of when I was young and the summertime and, and of course, going on picnics. But she also has these beautiful wicker baskets in the, and you'll see that in a minute. Um, but that also evoked memories of hanging the laundry out because my mother had a wicker basket that, that we used when we hung laundry on the clothesline and and just you know playing in the the backyard and just summer memories it, it just really was evocative to me so I did a little bit different um, it's not just about a picnic and there were also uh, a couple of beautiful planner pages in this kit as well and I thought about making a planner a, a monthly plan book but in the end I went with a journal and I think it's turned out really well so I thank you to the paper cameo on Etsy and this is her summer picnic and I will put a link to the digital down in the description box so let's go inside well let me give you first of all let me give you kind of the um, the the particulars um, this is it's eight and three quarters so it's a fairly big book um, it's eight and three quarters by five and a half it has a one inch spine but it is junky and I have stuffed it you, you'll see in a minute it has three signatures 132 pages but it has 30 pockets and tucks and it has 40 pieces of uh, vintage and handmade ephemera in here. And many of them are, are photographs, um, black and white images of people, you know, kind of having fun outside or having picnics or getting together with relatives, family reunions. It just, that was kind of how I, that was the direction I took this. So... So let's go in and, and look. So here's one of the initial baskets that I've put here in the front. Um, I have a little bit of a, a little, I think this is, uh, I think this is Spanish. We'll see anyway. Um, and a sanded and embossed um, paint chip. So, and I have used, I've cut out the little um I've made my own book plate here just with some of this paper as a backing and then this beautiful leather label that was on one of the the wicker sheets and so here's a, a name plate here for the beginning and these two ephemera here's the initial page I just think that's so lovely with some lace um, I've just made a simple pocket here. I've used some antique ledger and made another journal card. Um, this and here is some some vintage note and this is a little hidden pocket here for some other ephemera if you want. scrapbooking paper. This is a book page and I've just um, done just a little bit of a an embellishment there at the top. This is one of the basket images 
and so you can see the wicker basket in the back and I've just used some ephemera pieces here to decorate that pocket so these don't come out they are glued in but this front is a little bit of a pocket if if you had some little tickets or or something like that and then this ephemera just slips in the back so there's plenty of writing room I love making writing journals. So this is one of the wicker images. And, um, and then I have just made a little masterboard strip here as a second pocket. Some avocado dyed paper. There's just a little top tuck and minestrone soup recipe this is some vintage um, stationery i just loved this little girl standing out by the peonies i think um yeah so i just put her as a, a tuck spot here there's a vintage receipt and part of an image from the kit. So I've used a lot of these vintage photos in the, the kit. Here's some pretty pink trim on that page. Here's one of the basket pockets, and I've just done a little cluster collage there and some vintage receipts. A little fabric cluster here. Um, a receipt from for a deposit. Vintage. This is vintage stationery. And I grunged up this little vintage um, note paper. Is the end of that initial signature and here is another of the wicker pocket basket patterns um, yeah I, I like it this photo did come off so you could journal on the back it's two fun folks here in front of their car a little ticket that just hooks on to that with a paper clip another vintage receipt is a, a vintage post postal card and um, from a calendar July 20th happens to be my mother's birthday I wish she were still here to celebrate here is uh, a greeting card from my stash and some kind of stationery. I've just done some napkin collage on there. And another of those little paper clips to hold it on. Here's an, one of the tags from the kit. And just a scrap of a vintage paper of some kind. Here's another one of the kit pockets, and I have made some paper lace with the punch and just folded that over the top, put some ephemera, some vintage stationery, and a note paper in there, a little bit of fiber and that um, Tim Holtz die cut. Right, here's just an interesting element. This is a fold-over pocket, and this is some vintage stationery. And I have made a, just a vintage journal card. I've sewn on a piece of the of the collage paper, put a la label on it, and a little bit of antique lace, and then that. Um, goes kind of around this page and 
and then I have another one of these little clips to hold it secure. Uh, this is a vintage prescription. So this whole book feels just very old-fashioned to me. Just very vintage with fun things to look at. And this is um, a Rolodex vintage and some stationery. And I have just put some paper flowers here on this basket. coffee dyed paper, some graph paper. This is a peekaboo pocket with one of the images and, or a couple of the images, um, and just some scrapbook paper there, and an altered guest check. Just a, a little, small little patch pocket. The Book of Dried Flowers library card catalog. This envelope is one of the images in the kit. And I just put that together and put it over this. Um, actually, I think I had it this way. Yeah. Some scrapbooking paper that I had that matched. Um, this is some embossed um, sketch paper. And I've done some... This is not ink, it's uh, chalks. Yeah. This is also a little tuck over here. This is um, an antique envelope. And I don't see a date on it, but it was very old. So I've made kind of a pocket here and then just put, glued it on um, two sides and made a tuck, folded this journal paper. Here's the final signature. This is this um, pretty image. And there's a little bit of bright blue underneath there some vintage onion skin that's so much fun to write on pretty some scrapbook paper and this is another one of the pockets from the kit and i've just made a journal card there some monopoly money here's another one of the pockets very pretty. Pacific, Union Pacific Railroad note card. And this is an envelope that I have grunged, grunged and stamped. And a little bit of a collage there. There's also these um, images of a wax stamp, which is really nice that it's so flat. But it looks very real. This is some um, vintage eyelet lace and a little bit of crinkled um, seam binding. A little collage there with this Tim Holtz gal and a vintage postcard to Mrs. H. R. Lott. Mona got to go to the fair having a swell time. La Junta, Colorado. Here's another um, book page element. It's a pocket, kind of just some graph paper that I've just stained and fits down in that pocket. And then there's room to journal here. And I've done just a little collage here with this. This came out of a 1912 scrapbook. Um, yeah, fun little tiny 
photos and I've included one of those here. Some lace. Here's another uh, tuck with um, an image from the summer picnic and um, I haven't included any ephemera but I've made this pretty um, sorry silk ruffle. Here's another one of those images from that scrapbook and I think, nope, it's, no, it does come off. Yeah, 1919, August 21st gray beard. <laughs> Funny. Some little pearls there. I not see. Score sheet. Some antique lace. It's very delicate. Um, this is one of the tags from the kit. And there's the final image. I And on the front and the back, I've done this um, um, sponging technique with some Distress ink to kind of match the rest of the, the book. So there is Summer Picnic. Thanks for being with me, and we'll see you again.